Today guys, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do plasma object source lighting using an airbrush. So we're going to be using three colours today, Cantor Blue, uh, Temple Guard Blue and White. The uh, two bottles in the middle are just made up for the airbrush. Um, and we've got like a test piece that we're going to use. And we've also got some models, some Primaris Hell Blasters to work on at the same time. So we're just going to start out by base coating all of the plasma area with Cantor Blue. Uh, we could do this with the airbrush, but if we do it with a basic um, paint, paint job first, we can uh, get a good coverage and then go back in with the airbrush and start doing the overspray. So we're just going to make sure it's spraying alright and what we're going to do is we're going to aim for the corners of the, the plasma where the ca plasma kind of corners over and goes to the top. We're going to aim for that and spray left to right and what we're going to try and do is purposefully catch over where the plasma is. So we'll get a nice solid base coat of blue on the actual plasma coils but then around it we'll get a nice overspray um, which is the, like the start of our like OSL or object source lighting. So we'll just keep give, make sure we get good coverage, we'll focus on the top and then we'll flip over the plasma gun and we'll um, work on the other corner, let's call it, the other top side where the um, plasma coils curl over. Um, make sure you, if you're not spraying right, just spray on the back of your hand, make sure it's nice and, your tip's nice and clean, and we can just keep going through that. So then on this primary spray, what we're going to do is, play, again, once you've sprayed the gun, you can place it on the model, and then you can kind of spray where the light would be coming from. As you can see there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more thinner, and we're going to do like a 50/50 mix or a feather mix of uh, Temple Guard Blue and Cantor Blue. Um, I'm just going to make sure that's well mixed. Add any more colour if you think it's too light or too dark. Um, add any more thinner if you need to. Uh, mix that mix that well. Spray it spray it through. Make sure your air control's okay. If you've got a valve on the airbrush. Make sure you've got no blockages like I have there. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to, going to do the same again. We're going to aim for those corners, but we're going to not try and hit the like the recesses, let's call it the furthest part away from the top. Um, so aim in at the um, corners of the plasma, get this nicer colour in, this bright colour, and we'll start feathering in this highlight. As you can see, we're going to do the same again on the actual marine or whatever object model you're using. We're just going to aim for where we've already put the blue, but not go into the furthest recesses. So we're going a little bit bright there, but it depends how you want it to look. But I think it looks pretty cool. Um, as you can see, you just put the plasma gun back on now, so you can have a look. And you can see, you can kind of see where it's glowing from, and that's getting the object source lighting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same again uh, with a brighter colour, but rather than rather than spraying from the corners, what we're going to do is hold the plasma gun from the top down and just spray left to right, straight over the top. Um, and what this will do is you'll be able to catch the paint um, on the corners and a bit further over. Turn it if you need to, but not too much, because you're trying to avoid the bottom parts and focus on the top part, which is going to be our highest or hottest point, and that's going to be the lightest colour. So I'm just going in, make sure I get good coverage, taking it very, very slowly, making sure if I am worried about any paint like getting blocked up, spraying it onto my glove first, um, making sure everything's spraying all right, and just focusing slightly more on the middle than the edges, and you can see it just starting to build up a really nice contrast. So same again with the marine, just even less paint this time, just just catching on the arms and stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is going to start adding some white, some more thinner and some more white. We're going to get a really really uh, again 50/50 mix, but it's going to be really bright compared to the Temple Guard Blue. Um, if you feel like it's too too dark or too light, add some more white. Obviously, this looks a lot brighter on camera because it's got, it's high, got high exposure on there, just so you can easily see what's going on. But now, what we're going to do, as you say, you can see the different colours on the mat. We can see like there's a nice three blended colour on there. So we're going to do the same again. Start focus on the top, moving left to right. Try not to move the gun too much and more of the airbrush. Make sure we're spraying all right, and then we're just going to go in and be very very gentle and focus on the middle part. Like the, in the middle of the actual coils on the top and on the sides. So now on the actual um, Primaris Marine itself, we're just going to spray, but not even spray on the model. We're just going to spray near it on my glove, which will catch it ever so slightly like you, just, you can see there. And then on the chest, we'll just be very careful. You don't even have to go this high. But now we're going to do what we've done with the airbrush. So we're going to do is going to pour out the paint, the highlight colour, into a pot. I'm going to use this again in a few minutes. So we'll just pour that out and we'll give the airbrush a good clean um, and we'll save that for a few minutes time. 
So now we're going to do is going to go back to the plasma gun, and we're going to take uh, some Cantor blue. Uh, you could leave it here if you want to, but we're just going to try and take it to the next level. Um, we're going to take some Cantor blue into a pot and thin it down a lot. So you can see I'm just putting some in a pot. This is the airbrush colour, so it's already very thin. Um, and we're going to add some glaze medium this time um, and mix that up. Uh, mix that well. And basically with the glaze medium we're creating almost a wash, but it's going to be able to sit on the surfaces as well at the same time. And with this colour we're going to take a really, really small brush and we're just going to go into the recesses of the coils, like down the bottom where the darkest point's going to be. And we're going to add shadows essentially because we might have gone a bit too bright. So we're just going to go along the edge in the recess. Uh, essentially a recess shade or a pin wash uh, with this can really, really thin glazed Cantor blue. Just to add a dip, bit of more definition so we've got really dark in the bottom corner and then really light on the top. So just take your time, take it steady. Nice and thin paint. Don't rush it, there's no need to rush because you've done well so far. You've not oversprayed by accident like I did, so... <laughs> So we'll just keep going, just all around the edges on the bottoms. We'll not really bother with the top part of the plasma coil where it's the whitest. But we'll just add a couple of layers, make sure it's nice and thin. Drawing up a little bit if we need to. And then right, just one quick go on the top part of the coil. So I realised there it's a bit too thin, so I've just added some more paint. And we're just going to go back through those edges with a bit thicker paint this time. So again, if you go too thin, it doesn't matter, just let it dry for a few minutes. Go back in with the... Um, with the base colour, add some more in. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the highlight colour from the pot and we're going to extreme highlight the edges of the gun. So where it's going to be the brightest points, um, we're going to just add that edge highlight to show that it is the like the hottest, brightest, the most light is coming from this area. And then we're going to do is just do a couple of the odd lines further down where it's a bit darker to show that it's glowing. Um, not too much down the bottom because this is so thin it's going on almost, almost like a glaze. Um, so we can just add that to there, and that's probably our finished plasma gun just about. So on the Primaris Marine, what we can do, we can do the same on the gun, but on the actual figure itself, we can highlight some of the edges that are most protruding, such as that, like the brace on the back of the arm, um, the edge of the um, wrist, and then we're going to do a little bit on the chest just to show where it is glowing, where it is the brightest. So you can see we're just going to go for the, um, the chest, torso, and the... Uh, just a tiny little bit of paint, super thin brush. This is a 5 0 brush. And just catch that corner there. Just so we can get that little bit of extreme highlighting. And you can see how well it's glowing on the model. So, when do we go back and put the actual gun on that we've been working on? As well as our tester. We'll just snap that on. And you can see when it snaps on. And a nice plasma OSL. So this is one we're working on. We did this all on live stream. And we did a unit of five of these. Right along with the tester model. So here's a close up of the actual plasma going where it's on. It's very bright. Um, lots of OSL, lots of overspray. We could go back in and clean this up if we wanted to. Um, but then this is the unit that, fit, that I've finished. And yeah, they look pretty cool. They look nice together. They're over overcharging. Try not to die on the ones. So I hope you enjoyed that video, um, we quite enjoyed making it. That was all done live on stream, so obviously it was, you might have seen some little bits hanging off the sides because I've cropped those out. Um, so I hope you did enjoy watching this uh, live to tutorial, YouTube tutorial video. Uh, if you did, uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell button, as they do. Um, but yeah, if you, if you enjoyed it, if you fancy checking out streams, we do stream on Twitch. Uh, probably usually three times a week, Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, we do do the odd weekend stream as well. Uh, where we do, basically we do hobby streams, where we do tutorials like this, or just general painting and chatting. Uh, we do live gaming, like 40, live 40k, live Dark Souls board game, live Age of Sigma, all stuff like that. And then we also do Eye of the Hellstone, which is a brand new, um, essentially like a news show of wargaming stuff that's happened in the past month. And that's like kind of like a monthly show at the start of the month. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything that you liked about the video, then let me know in the comments. If anything you didn't like, please rage at me in the comments so I can try and improve it for next time. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I've been Mikey at Hellstone Wargaming. You've been fantastic and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. See you later guys.